What's up, Tubulars? Want to talk to you today about some podcasting equipment that I think will be within your budget or pretty close to your budget if you want to actually embark on the podcasting avenue. So just to let you know, if you're new here, well, first off, you should subscribe because I'm going to have more of these videos to talk about podcasting and other gear reviews and recommendations. But what I will say is that I've been podcasting since 2011, 2012. So I've reviewed quite a bit of gear, and I think I've actually found the setup that will help you start, but also the gear that's going to help you grow. Now, before we jump in, I know that there are plenty of YouTubers out there, plenty of you are probably following them, and they have not necessarily switched over to podcasting, but they've add podcasting to their content marketing and their content strategy or just to provide some other type of format in addition to video. And I have to say that some of the equipment that they're using is definitely a bit more expensive just from the start. And so, yes, we can podcast from our phones and there are so many ways to do it on the cheap with just anything that you have around. But I want to at least talk to you today about some gear that you may be interested in. Nothing is sponsored here. I have spent my own money on all this gear, so this is not an ad in any way. Now, let's talk about the workhorse, and that's the microphone that I'm actually speaking to you in right now, and this is the Audio-Technica ATR2100. Now, I love this microphone so much. I mean, it is a cardioid dynamic microphone, and dynamic in the sense of, well, and you can actually get this with a condenser, and I don't want to get into condenser versus dynamic, but you notice how, like, if I move over here, a lot of this is actually shielded. I just actually bumped the stand. So a lot of this is actually shield it but then when I come in front of it it's great so if there's a little bit of ambient noise the microphone's going to do a great job of isolating that a bit but again I don't want to get into condenser versus dynamic that's going to be for another video I love this microphone so much that I actually have more than one so why don't we take the windscreen off and, and talk about the start of this because I want you to be able to start podcasting and it's let's say that it's just you there's no co-host there's nobody that you're interviewing but the equipment that I am recommending to you you're going to be able to do that you're going to be able to grow into as you start adding in guests and or co-hosts depending on what your situation is but from the start let's actually talk about the capabilities of the ATR2100 and we're talking about Let's say that I'm starting a podcast, it's just me recording into my computer software, and whether you're a Mac or Windows user, Mac actually has GarageBand or Logic Pro, and you can actually use something like Audacity, and Audacity is free, it's open source, and you can use that for Windows and or Mac. So if I'm just recording into the software of my computer, then I'm going to be more focused on this mini USB port here. Now, yeah, many of you might be like, mini USB? When is the last time I saw that? Well, uh, today. So essentially, you're just going to be plugging that uh, mini USB into there. And then what you're going to be doing is the type A is going to go into your computer. Now, if you're a Mac user, yes, you're going to actually have to have an adapter so that the type A goes into the type C. You'll see that the blue light is on because essentially it is powered up or it's in the computer right now. So if I'm recording just into the software of the computer, this is going to get me what I need. And the price point on this microphone is around $50 to $60, give or take a few dollars. Now, many YouTubers are recommending the Shure SM7B, and at $300 plus, that entry point might be prohibitive to many of you. So I think $50 to $60 is probably a better entry point for this. Okay, so let's say that your podcast is ready for the next level. You're adding in a co-host or you're adding in guests. Now, I'm going to talk about the virtual aspect, like if they're not in the same room and you're like interviewing somebody across country or on the other end of the world or having a co-host just like that as well, this microphone's going to handle it along with the software. It's going to be very easy, but let me talk about the in-studio guest or the in-studio co-host. So with the XLR inputs, and I'm going to put information in the description so that you know what things mean. But for the XLR input, essentially what you're going to do is take this cable and essentially plop that in there. And if I actually have a, a guest or a co-host in studio, I'll just take this, the XLR mail and put that into here uh, to separate and isolate those two channels. So I now have two channels because what the handheld is going to do is it's going to separate that audio in the SD card. So literally when I put my SD card into the computer 
and put it into post, I'm going to have track one and track two. And if I had more people in the room, I'm going to actually have three and four and so on and so forth. And the one thing that I really like about this handheld is that if you see this adapter and if I'm shooting some video and I want like a shotgun mic, there's a dead cat here, but essentially this shotgun mic here that just fits right in into there. And essentially I've got a shotgun mic that I can uh, get some decent audio when I'm recording my video, but we're here for podcasting. Now, adding in a piece of hardware like that, first off, I think that it's a bit safer to do that versus software because software crashes and hardware is a bit more stable. Now, the Zoom H6, the price points might be a little bit on the higher side for you because we're going to be pushing $299 to, well, roughly around $300 for the Zoom H6. Now, on the cheaper side, you can actually get the Zoom H4n for around $200. I'm going to link everything below just so that you know kind of like what I'm using or what I'm actually recommending. But like I said, I do recommend a handheld recorder because there's so many things that you can do with this thing. I mean, it actually comes with adapters so you can do like field recording. So if you don't wanna bring microphones, but you actually wanna do a podcast and you just wanna record somebody at a conference or in the field or just on the fly, this is actually a perfect little setup. Going back to what I had said earlier about the virtual co-host or a, a guest that is literally not across the street or in the same room, but could be across the country or even across the world, this microphone is actually going to be doing the majority of the work. So the ATR2100 paired with something like Skype, I'm just using Skype as an example because it's something that I've used for years successfully. So I'm actually not gonna be talking about this microphone that I'm talking into. I'll talk about this one as the example. And so you're, you're going in with the XLR into channel one, and then the USB is plugged into the computer. Now you're gonna actually have to go into the software itself to make sure that you're using the ATR as your audio in and your audio out. Now it's obvious, like if you're talking into the microphone into Skype, yes, your guest or your co-host is going to hear you through this microphone. Now, we actually have a headphone jack on this microphone that is going to help with a bit of the magic. So what we're actually going to be doing is plugging in the eighth inch or three and a half millimeter. I don't know why it's, you know, people use metric to the imperial measuring system, like three and a half millimeter to quarter inch. But anyway, that's what it is. So we're going to, we're going to put that in here into the headphone jack, okay? Now, what we're also going to be doing is running this cable that's going to actually have a TS, and I'll, I'll put that in the description, and that is, you see there's just one ring? That's actually what you want. You want the tip and the sleeve. Now, that's actually going to plug into channel two of your handheld recorder. So what you're going to be doing is you're talking into this microphone, and the person that you're talking to is going to hear you. When they actually talk back, the microphone is doing the work and essentially it's going through the headphone jack and then out to channel two of your handheld recorder. So essentially, you are isolating two channels. So your channel, you talking into it because remember, this is going into your handheld recorder and this is actually going out into channel two of the handheld recorder so your guest or co-host is in channel two isolated for post-production now one of the big tips that i need to let you know is that there is a volume button on this microphone and essentially like if you toggle it this way the volume goes up and if you toggle it this way the volume goes down you want the volume all the way down because what happens is is that if i'm talking into channel one and it's going through this cable and then let's say that you're talking through skype and it's going uh, in through the microphone, and, and, and then the microphone's pushing this out, well, essentially, like, when I talk, it's going to be picking up my voice as well, both in channel one and in channel two. So make sure that volume is all the way down because, essentially, you're using headphones with the headphone jack on the out from the handheld device, and that way you're hearing yourself and you're actually hearing your guest. All of that's happening into the handheld recorder. So like I said, this is actually something for you to start with and to grow as you grow. Now, a question that I often get is, okay, so let's say that I actually have multiple co-hosts or multiple voices on there. 
can I isolate them all on that handheld device? The simple answer really is that's going to be difficult because essentially what you're doing is you're relying on the software of Skype as an example. It's just bringing that in like all together. It's not separating that out. So essentially it is all going to go into channel two. Now, if you happen to actually have a co-host somewhere that can record locally and then you add in a guest, now you can actually have your co-host record their audio locally and send it to you later for post-production. And then your guest is really on channel two. So anytime your co-host speaks, you will be picking them up in channel two. But if your workflow is or your interview style is that they, they pause or they don't do a lot of talking over the guest, then you can actually use their audio track separate. So you'll have your audio track, their separate audio track that they record locally and send to you, and then on track two, which is really gonna be in track three in your post-production, is gonna be your guest from Skype. So essentially, like you would just cut out or mute your co-host when they speak and they come through on channel two of the handheld. Now, I wouldn't necessarily use this ATR2100 as a boom mic. It's just not going to work well for that. So this will be exclusively for podcasting and voice work. But that handheld device, the Zoom H4n or the Zoom H6, that's going to really help you not only level up your podcasting game because you can do it in a studio, you can do it on the fly, it's battery operated, and you can do some field recording. But it's also going to help you with your sound design, with your videos. So whether you're doing commercial work or whether you're doing YouTube videos, it is definitely going to be something that you can rely on to help you with your sound design. It's going to help you dial that in because the handheld recorders are really great because they actually have compressors and limiters already built in. Very similar to what you would be using into a mixer, but not as complicated as a mixer. So it's going to offer you some of that benefit when it comes to your sound design. Anyway, hopefully that wasn't complicated. Just wanted to make some very simple recommendations. I will outline those steps in the video so that you know what you're doing when it comes to that virtual recording through something like Skype. As always, I want you to keep rocking faces, do things that matter. Let's go get this. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one.